are facing off in a scavenger hunt on a Disney cruise. We're here on the Disney Fantasy and you're about to lose big time, no, You're baby. about to lose big time, baby. Cassie and I are currently sailing on the Disney Fantasy filming lots of videos, but today we are facing off. Well, we have our boards, so ready, set, go. Okay, so I am gonna go for the first row. Don't mind the handwriting happening here. Okay, I wanted to go this way, but Quincy's also going that way. So she's just gonna have to get out of my way soon. The first thing that I'm going to do is take a picture in a porthole. She's following me. I think I'm just gonna quickly get a porthole. No, 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 no. I took it. I took my picture. I took my picture. You want to see it? Yeah, you definitely did. You said I took it once. Look at that horrible photo. I'm so cute. Why did I first? What time was yours? Well, obviously there, but I think you got it first. I said I took it while I was taking it. Okay. Okay, well, Cassie got portable. So I guess there goes that plan. Rethink. Anyways, right now the portholes are decorated for Halloween because this is a Halloween on the high seas cruise, but there are plenty of portholes that don't have this little jack-o'-lantern face, so you can take some cute photos in the portholes. I know I have one from one of my trips as a kid. I was gonna go down in the very left column. I think I'm just gonna go down in the second column, and we'll just keep working our way over since Cassie uh, now has blocked me there. So I am going to check out the rotational dining. So this is Royal Court. This is one of the three rotational dining restaurants here on the Disney Cruise. We have turned soup on the menu and I see braised oxtail soup and white onion soup. That sounds pretty good. Um, this is the second dining night. So the menu has changed from the first night uh, we dined here. Rotational dining is something Disney Cruise Line offers where each night of your cruise, you will be placed at a different of the three rotational dining spots. Your serving team does follow you. So your server and your assistant server will come with. Uh, there are three Royal Court, Enchanted Garden, and Animator's Palette here on the uh, Disney Fantasy, but every single Disney cruise ship has a rotational dining uh, option of its own. Okay, I have made it to Enchanted Garden. I'm nervous she's doing this too, but I'm gonna try to do it a little faster. So here we are at Enchanted Garden. Enchanted Garden is what it sounds like. It is a garden themed restaurant. It's very beautiful in here. And they do change the lighting in the theming from day to night, which is very cute. Soup, wild forest mushroom soup. Where am I eating tonight? Is it here? No, no, no. I'm at Animator's Palette tonight. Hopefully the soup sounds good over there. So that's our second rotational dining. And I'm gonna head to Animator's Palette. And I do worry that Cassie is doing this as well. So I gotta try to be faster. Next, we're going to visit all three rotational dining restaurants and find soup on the menu. So I think I'm gonna head down this hallway on deck three over towards Animator's Palette and I'll pass up another entrance to Royal Court on the way. So here is Royal Court, one of the restaurants here. Here we are. I'm going to go with the braised oxtail soup with spinach and roasted garlic tortellini. And we'll just peek into this restaurant real quick. You can see it's very cute. It's very royal and princess themed. There's a couple of um, portraits of the princesses that are really cute. Here we are at Animator's Palette. We'll wait for the soup to show up on the menu. But this restaurant is really fun. It's like a love letter to animation. Here on the Disney Fantasy, you will see Crush. He'll interact with you. And now that they have Magic Band Plus added to Disney Cruise Line, your Magic Band will also interact with the restaurant. Okay, here's some soups and salads. I will go with the cheddar, the white cheddar and broccolini soup with toasted baguette crouton. So that sounds yummy. It would seem my theory is correct because she is right here looking at a menu, but I bet she hasn't been downstairs yet. So I think we're going faster than she is, which is really good. Anyways, you can take a little peek in here and see some of the sketch. Here we are at Animator's Palette. Uh, we are right before the soup section of the menu. You know that there's like seven plus, like 10, 11 other decks you can go to? <laughs> you too. There's like, a I've been to another deck actually. Okay, well, Quincy is apparently in a rush, so we don't have time to talk about those cute sketches in there. So we'll move on. White cheddar and broccolini. Hey. I'm getting that tonight. That's the soup that I picked. How about you pick your own soup? 
Oh, are we getting that soup tonight? That sounds really good. In fact, can we, can we let's look at the menu and dinner. Chicken schnitzel, that's interesting. We could go get a little snack on deck 11. I have found myself in Europa. This is the lounge area on the ship. Um, the lounges are all themed to different European cities. So there's an Italian bar, an Irish pub, a French champagne lounge, um, and even a kind of big event space themed to the London Underground, which is super cool. Oh, uh, we love this area, but it doesn't really help me with anything I'm trying to do here. So I'm just gonna kind of move on by. And during the day on your Disney cruise, there are tons of events around the ship. You'll notice the ship is really empty right now. That's because we're in port. We're actually in Puerto Rico, which is really cool. Um, we're taking advantage of the fact that most people are out enjoying Puerto Rico to uh, do the scavenger hunt without bothering too many people. One of the items on here is find something that costs more than $650. The cruise merchandise spots are closed right now. But I wonder, I can get enough of a glimpse to see if there is something worth more than $650. I don't know. Ooh, or maybe a photo package. Are they open? No, they're closed. So I think up next I will tackle a square that says to go to our stateroom and do bed science. If you're new to the channel, you gotta go and watch Quincy's resort tours and you'll know what bed science is soon enough. Bad news, they don't have little placards with the prices in this jewelry store, uh, which does have the Crown of Light collection, which is sort of a Disney collaboration collection. I don't think there's gonna be anything over $650 at Vista Cafe, uh, but we're gonna keep going this way. Maybe I can find like a price listing on port shopping, but then that item isn't actually on the ship. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ooh, ooh. One of the options on here is artwork that moves. Find artwork that moves. Yes, look. So cute. I love this. It feels so magical to be walking by and literally see a train drive between the two paintings. It's so cute. I'm still going to go for this square even though that even though that row has been stolen from me who arguably deserves it far more but we'll just go into our stateroom this is a veranda stateroom on deck 10 and we are going to do bed science I'm a little nervous to do bed science without Quincy um, big shoes to fill and I also have a little bun but we're gonna do it we're not gonna be a diva about it ready Ugh! Okay, she makes it look so effortless. Um, bed comfy. If, if you want to know more about the comfiness of the bed, you're just, I guess you're just gonna have to watch our full tour of the Disney Fantasy. I mean, you don't got anything else going on today, do you? We are now by Buena Vista Theater. This is actually the movie theater on board, and this movie theater does show first-run movies. There are some Disney movies, so if a movie premieres on land, often are, uh, you can see it here on board while it's still in theaters on land. It's a pretty sizable theater. There is a movie coming on soon, and we gotta see what's playing to get this one for Scavenger Hunt. Focus, focus two. That's what's about to play. Cassie on bed science, which isn't in my column, but it is annoying because bed science is my thing. I just got word that Quincy has got another square. Isn't she just a little Universal Orlando whip ride rocket today? I didn't know she was gonna come with this energy. I need to start walking faster like Fry. So we are going to head into the adults only area. Well, it's adults only in the evening. Here's D Lounge. We are headed to Europa. You're gonna find a bunch of cute lounges inspired by streets in Europe. Again, you can check out that Disney fantasy tour to get a full little look in here, but isn't this just so, so cute? I have now officially been on every Disney cruise ship. They call me Cruise Cassie back at home. Um, and I have to say that this area, the Disney fantasy, it's, pre it's pretty up there for me as far as the adult lounges. 
So we are headed into the tube. Here's where a lot of activities are going down, like trivia, silent disco, some dance well, parties, hello, crazy Coming karaoke. Up, you know, 15 minutes time. We okay. have got your ultimate Disney trivia. Oh man, should I stop recording scavenger so hunt and do some ultimate Disney paper. trivia? So there are those red phone booths over here. This lounge has a very cute British theme, but out of respect for the integrity of trivia. I think I'll do my phone call outside of the team, if that's all right with you, mate. I think we all know who I'm calling. Hello. Hello. I'm just in the tube. I'm just here in the tube in England. Thought I'd tell you my favorite part of the cruise. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, well, first, I think I'll let you guess what my favorite part of the cruise is. Um, is it the uh, live entertainment? <laughs> See, I wasn't going to talk about Jordan Carswell, but since you brought him up, I think I told you my other favorite part of the cruise. It's a very silly favorite part of the cruise. Is it, is it food of some sort? It is food of some sort. Is it a, a Halloween spider dessert? <gasps> you keep bringing up things that hurt me. You know that Quincy killed Mr. Darcy. I was going to talk about the barbecue chicken pizza. <laughs> if there's one thing about me, I'm going to go to Flo's V8 Cafe and get me some barbecue chicken pizza. Is that really your favorite part of the cruise? Listen, sometimes it's the simple little things. That's what we say about you. Yeah, well, I'd love to keep chatting with you, mate, but I do have a scavenger hut to win. All right, then. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, that was AJ from Disney Food Blog. That was my favorite part of the cruise. You can shame me for it, but I don't care. Okay, I have got to find something that is worth over $650 while the merchandise shops are closed which is going to be tricky. So that's what we're going to try to do here. I'm not sure how optimistic I am, but it would be not so good. I don't think these shirts are going to be I bet those washes are. Oh, I can't see them. Um, I do think, yeah, nothing home until 5.15. I do think that it's going to be kind of tricky for us to do this because the shops are closed and the really fancy stuff it's hard to see prices on. But hopefully, maybe in a window. I also don't have my glasses on, which isn't helpful. I don't see any prices. I'm struggling. There are price, there's a price on that necklace, but it's turned around. Also, it's not in a case. So is it $6.50? Probably not. So I'm headed back to Deck 10 so I can take the stairs up to Deck 11. Now, the elevators on Disney Cruise Line, they have them in the middle of the ship, they have them aft and forward, but they can get a little busy during the day or right after events like the deck parties. So you do have stairs if you want to take them. I do like taking the stairs, but it's a bit of a workout. Oh, this is hard. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see the really little stuff on the price tags. Um, it would not be good if I can't complete this one until 5.15 because then my row is pretty much void but there was like a photo on the wall at Bulgari that gave me an idea man I'm already backtracking typically I really try to avoid backtracking when I'm playing our game master games or our scavenger hunts but in this case I'm kind of pro it because the ship is so small we are walking through cabanas this is where you're gonna find buffet style food during dining times like breakfast and lunch that's of course, we're gonna find some iconic Mickey waffles, but you can also get room service. And room service is included with your cruise price. So I am back at Enchanted Garden, but here on the wall is Vista Gallery. This is a, a little gallery wall with purchasable art. And hopefully, some of it is worth more than $650. That one doesn't have a price tag. Where's the big ones? Come on, $4.95. Ah, none of 
them are above $650. Okay, next $650 idea. We are on the ever noisy popular deck 11 where again Cabanas is there. You have the Funnel Vision TV, access to the aqueduct and some family pools. Puerto Rico if you're on that cruise and you're docked. Um, this is a great place for families. It is very busy so if you'd prefer um, some other quieter pools they have adults only options. They actually have um, teen pools little splash pad so you don't have to hang out here I will be back for the ice cream but right now we're headed to get some of that pizza that I literally won't stop talking about okay um, I'm asked by one of the drink stands they do have beer packages but none that go over 195 so I'm gonna go where I was planning on going which I think I need to go into the buffet for okay so I need to actually go into cabanas for two reasons but first I'm swinging here by Sweet On You. This is the upcharge sweet shop here on the ship. So they do have ice cream and gelato as well as like cupcakes and macarons and stuff. It is super, super adorable and it's themed to the new Mickey and Minnie cartoons. And it was just the third wheel on Mickey and Minnie's ice cream date, which is right here. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. That, uh, that we, you know, we, all, we all really like ice cream. It's not just, it's not just, could I get a shot? Yeah. No? No, I mean, that's what, you're right, it's not kind enough to share between three. Right. Okay, besides the buffet, you also have Flo's V8 Cafe. So you're gonna find options like some grill options, some pizza options, some sandwiches and little wraps. So these are kind of like snacky options, lunch options that are kind of available throughout the day. You can hear the impact of the stairs on my breathing. Thank you so, so much. All right, thank you. So I have been raving about that barbecue chicken pizza, which some of you are going to get on the Disney Fantasy and eat it, and then you're gonna be like, this is it, but you just don't get it, okay? But they, I mean, they keep the pizza coming out pretty often, so if the flavor you want is not there, it'll probably be there in like the next five, maybe 10 minutes. We've only had to wait like three to five minutes if it wasn't already out, but for the sake of the scavenger hunt, I did get margarita pizza. And the square says to eat it in the adults only area of the ship. So that's where we are. So like I said, if deck 11, the middle of the deck is a little too busy for you and you are over 18 years old, you can come to the adult, the adults only areas of the ship. I'm gonna go up to deck 13 just because I think it's a little bit crowded down there even still. And I'm gonna sit by the currents bar and eat my little pizza. Here we are with our little pizza. Pizza cheers. I totally copied that vibe from Lindsay. Here's the thing about the pizza here. Is it the best pizza you've ever had in the world? Probably not. But when you just want a snack, it becomes the best pizza you've ever had in the world. <laughs> All right, pizza. Swallowed, chewed. You didn't need that much description. I think it looks like it might be becoming, there's there's still some lines that I can do, but I'm I'm nervous about Quincy's speed. Didn't know she had it in her. Cassie, I assume is just doing her best. So I think that I'm gonna maybe just kind of check off some things in case this becomes a numbers game. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go stand between two specialty restaurants and talk about my favorite Disney meal. I have made my way up to an adults only area because I know that there is something up here that is very expensive. I just don't know how much. So let's see. Um, this here is Meridian Lounge, which they have a little tour going on in there. And then we have Remy, which is the French fine dining upcharge restaurant here. And we have Paolo, which is the Italian nicer restaurant uh, that is also, both of these are adults only. They're also specialty restaurants, which means I can talk about my favorite Disney meal. I just passed by someone who said that they watched the All Ears YouTube channel to prep for their cruise. So I wanted to know how many of you are watching this because you are in the middle of a Disney countdown to your Disney cruise. Drop how many days you have 
because I want to see. I stepped just outside because they are doing a tour of the ship, uh, like with all of the design and theme elements of the ship in there, which is very cool, um, but I didn't want to bother them. So I'm still just outside the two specialty restaurants. I'm gonna talk about my favorite Disney meal. My favorite Disney meal of all time was at Takumi Te. Um, I did have it for a video on the channel and you can see my full review. Takumi Te is in Epcot's Japan Pavilion and it is a very fine dining establishment. It's very expensive and the meal is an omakase chef's tasting menu where there is sushi and wagyu and just some of the most amazing ingredients I've ever had. The service was spectacular and I literally am saving to go back. Um, so I absolutely love Takumi Te. Uh, that's gonna be my favorite Disney meal of all time. And uh, I'm outside of these restaurants. Another one I really loved was Enchante, which is um, actually created by the same chef who has an influence on the Remy menu on The Wish. Remy uh, has some of the menu posted on the outside board. Um, but since I'm outside Remy, I can check out their menu in the Disney Navigator app, which might mean that we can find a wine or liquor or something that is above $650 because Remy is very, very high end. My goodness. Do you see, do you see these prices? That's so wild. Uh, lots of stuff on the vault menu that's above $650. Uh, so since this stuff is available here at Remy, I do get to take this one. $3,300 for a bottle of champagne. I mean, the, the $10,201 one is, that's, uh, that's really something available here. Um, just behind me at Remy. $10,000. <gasps> that's so crazy. You could go on like at least two Disney cruises for that. See, I was about to tell you about my favorite Disney meal that I've ever had outside of Palo and Remy, but someone decided that they were gonna get that square and that they were also gonna get the six hundred fifty dollar merch square and and that they and that 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 they were winning. So I guess I'm not gonna do that. I should have seen this coming, but Cassie just blocked me on pizza. One, I was so close. I should have got. I should have done the pizza earlier. I literally walked right by it. Oh, that sucks. Um, but two, I should have known that she would block me with that because Cassie has had like 15 pieces of the barbecue chicken pizza since we've been on the ship. So I bet that's what she got. If I'm wrong, I'd be surprised. But the good news is I have three in a row here, so I'm going to. Uh, I guess go for that row. So all I need there is uh, Pepe and a selfie with Minnie Mouse. Excuse me, ma'am. We're in the middle of a top secret strategizing planning session. Me and the Ollier's audience, we've ganged up against you. So you must leave. Get out of here with your speedy legs. Why can't you go back where you came from? Yeah, go. Go on. Shoo. Shoo. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, things are getting dire. I need to catch up. I need to go downstairs. I think I'm going this way instead. What are you? I thought I told you to shoo. What are, have you gotten so far ahead of you two squares that you're sitting down and having a break? Okay, we're going to go through Cabanas. I'm going to go down to fine room, room 5,148 and a half. Okay, we've got to go quickly now. Perhaps I can out speed her. Is that a thing? A moment of appreciation for this very cool door. Okay, go. Here is room of 5,148 and a half. Pepe the King Prawn is here. Let's see if he'll answer the door. Guess not. Whew, thank goodness. I blocked Quincy. Now, just see you for a little bit of exercise. We're gonna go back up all the way to deck 12 to Goofy's sports deck to get some of those squares. I don't even know if there's a row in which I can win anymore but I don't have time to check. I'm just going to try and get so many squares that Quincy can't hope to win. On the way up, I will say that whenever I was little on the Disney Cruise, I was too shy to go to the kids' clubs. And now that I'm an adult, I really regret it. It looks really, really cool in there. At least go to the open houses. If you're a kid watching and you're a little nervous, just check out the open houses. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go up to Goofy's sports deck. Which is that way. Okay, I am passing by Flo's V8 Cafe again. Um, I think I'm gonna do what I was thinking about doing at Cabana's, 
One of the things on here is to eat chicken tenders on our veranda. There is 24 hour room service, but that's gonna take a lot longer than if I get chicken tenders here, put them in my pocket, and then eat them next time I'm near the room. So that's what I'm gonna do. Turkey bagel burger, that sounds so good. Okay, here's Goofy Sports Deck. You can do some basketball. They have a game, like they have simulators that you can sign up for. They have mini golf. I think I'm gonna do a free throw first. Cause I saw that square and I should knock it out before Q can. We're going to channel Troy Bolton, James Harden, even though he left the Houston Rockets. I was about to say this is for Disney food vlog, but um, if I miss, that'd be very bad. This is, this is the win. Do I have four chicken tenders wrapped in napkins and sitting in my pocket? Maybe. So here's where they have Goofy's golf. So we're gonna just do one quick little round of golf. I think I'll go for the blue. I think this is a little small for me, but it's fine. This looks like a nice little place to do my one hole. Um, you can stand on Goofy if you're an adult or Max if you're a kid and they have a little guideline for how you should make the shot. I think I'm more of a max than I am a goof as far as mini golf goes, but we'll still, we'll still try goof. Who knew I was so sporty? See where the bed is messed up from Cassie's bed science. We are heading out onto the veranda. So we are in a veranda category stateroom. There are concierge at the highest, then veranda, then <laughs> this honey mustard. I couldn't resist the honey mustard, but it's like my hands are full all the time. Uh, then there's veranda, ocean view, and inside. The inside rooms do have a virtual porthole that shows you real time views, um, but do not actually have an exterior view. We are in a veranda stateroom this time. So I am just going to eat my chicken tenders. As much as I would love to ride the aqua duck right now, I don't know if getting all wet and chafing is going to help me win the scavenger hunt. It kind of looks like I already did with the amount of sweat dripping down my face, but Hi. Yeah. I'm back at, thank you, I'm back at Flo's VA Cafe to get some chicken tenders because there's a square that says, for you, that says you need to eat some chicken tenders on your veranda. And who am I to say no to that? I'm like not particularly proud of this. Like the chicken tenders in my pocket. <laughs> Here they are. Um, I don't want to talk about it. So you can get chicken tenders with room service, um, which would have taken, we ordered room service the other night, it took like 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, bottom of What are you doing here? What did you do? By the way, AJ outed you as the murderer of Mr. Darcy. So do you wanna, do you wanna talk about that? You wanna talk about what you did? We got a dessert, a chocolate mousse. Was he was shaped, more than a dessert. That was shaped like a He was spider, a friend. And I took a bite out of it. You killed him. Well, that was a colossal flop. Um, I did eat a chicken tender maybe maybe off camera i ate one i don't know um okay let's let's regroup here i think the move is to go down to the cinderella mosaic and sing a dream is a wish your heart makes because i think quincy can still get that row so i better block her before she does and she's literally apparently the fastest person on the all years team and has and has just been holding in her stamina this whole time Probably just to get me. I think that this has been a um, strategy on her part in the making for years. Okay, I finished my veranda tenders. I'm heading downstairs. Um, so 
Things aren't looking too great because Cassie actually has several open places she can do five in a row and I only have the one across the bottom. So my plan here is to go sing A Dream Is Always Your Heart Banks at one of the Cinderella murals because that is in the column, that, one of the columns Cassie has and it's in my row that's still open. So it gets me one and box Cassie. There are some beautiful Cinderella mosaics on either side of Deck 3 Midship. So here we are. Here we are right here. Look at this beautiful Cinderella mosaic. It is so, so cute and you can take some photos in this little chair or you can humiliate yourself like I'm about to do. The choice is yours. A dream is a wish your heart makes uh -oh, when you're fast asleep. I, I started away from it, so oh, now there's an echo, okay. How about we go to the other mosaic and maybe we'll finish there. Maybe there will be nobody. Here's the other side of the mosaic, and I was going to continue singing, but I'm feeling very embarrassed. No matter how your heart is gleaming, if you keep on believing, a dream that you wish will come true. Change of plans before I can even get down the stairs. That's apparently how they have the same idea as me. So she just got that my deck for yes. Um, so Cassie got the Cinderella mural one, which means there's nothing this way. Which means she has three in a row in that column. So I need to block her there. I'm gonna try to go for a double block. So I did just run down the stairs in embarrassment, but I came back up because I realized we're right next to the Walt Disney Theater and there's another square. So here we are at the Walt Disney Theater. You will find some movies, but you'll also find um, some musicals, some shows. Thursday is Frozen, a musical spectacular, which Quincy and I are looking forward to. We watched Disney's Aladdin, a musical spectacular the other night. So I'm going to rank some of the Disney shows I've seen on Disney Cruise Line. I have been on every Disney cruise ship, but some of them were, were, some of them were when I was really little. So some shows are not around anymore. I do really remember enjoying Hercules a lot. Um, Aladdin was pretty great. I think my favorite show of all time. Oh, and I saw um, a Disney Wish has The Little Mermaid. It has um, Disney Sees the Adventure. I th and Disney's Believe, I believe, is on the dream as well. I think Disney's Believe is probably one of my top tier shows. Um, Aladdin is maybe right below it, though I enjoyed it. I think my favorite show of all time has to be The Golden Mickeys. There's no doubt about it. I have always really loved The Golden Mickeys. It's basically like a show where they do a, an award show and they present awards to different movies, different Disney movies, different Disney characters. It's really, really cute and you get to see a lot of your favorite stories kind of come together in one show. So that's probably my favorite. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I only have like one square done in it. But give give me like another thirty minutes, and I I could win this thing. Where are you going? I don't know if she's done it yet, but she's right over there. So I'm going to show off some cruise exclusive merchandise. There's this Disney Fantasy polo, these Disney Fantasy ears, stateroom magnets, Disney Fantasy mug and Disney Fantasy water bottle. Did you do this already? Wait, what are you doing? I'm naming cruise exclusive merch and I just found five pieces of it. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Five pieces of cruise exclusive merch, Wait I just named minute. them all. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the reason that I'm not going for that last row immediately is because one of the tasks say, says to get a mini selfie and she doesn't start meeting until 4 p.m. Now, how do I know that? The Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. Before you got on your Disney Cruise, you need to download the Disney Cruise Line app so that way you can see all the activities that are on board. One of the squares in that row that I am eventually going to try and get is... Jesus, stairs, man. One of the activities is to do an activity from your Navigator app. So as you can see right now, it's 3.34. They have a activity going on. They have an activity going on in the Census Spa. 
And in the tube over in the adults only area, well, it's actually all ages currently, they have the Marvel super fan face off. So we're gonna go peek in there, see what's going down. All right, Veggie Puppy Week is open. The navigator said by appointment, which is true, of course, but it's open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I wonder if they will do Pixie Dust. So here we are at the tube currently going on. We have the Marvel super fan face off. So let's see what this is looking like. Okay. You tell them Hulk will save that person, he'll go save them. Mm -hmm. But then destroy everything around. Yeah. All right. Now in this game show, we'll be going through four rounds. First question. What is Groot's catchphrase? Catchphrase. I know it, is I know it, it, I know it. Black power. B, I am Groot. C, it's Groot time. Or D. It's crew time. Let it grow. Let it grow. I love when he sang that song. All right. So let's see on the count of three. Reveal your cards. One, two, three. Reveal. So there's one of those activities. Like I said, they have a lot of trivia, um, game shows. They're all super fun. Okay, we gotta go to Bibby Bobby Boutique, but first I'm gonna walk out to the jogging track. Track four has a jogging track all around the deck. So if you wanna take a walk or, you know, go on a jog, you can just run around out here. 2.5 laps around the whole track equals one mile. So um, I think I have to do something because it's never easy at all years, is it? I'm gonna do our best Donald impression. I don't think I have a very good Donald impression, but I'll see what I can do. That was... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm actually trying. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, because I'm like literally trying. It said to do my best, that was my best, okay? What do you want from me? I am just a girl. Okay, with that out of the way, we're gonna head over to Bippy Boppity Boutique. Ooh, Bippity Boppity Boutique, and we're gonna get pixie dusted, which is whenever they sprinkle some glitter over you. So you have that little fairy sparkle. What you doing here? Because I just got here to get pixie dusted. So I think the question is, what are you doing here? I just I just mm -hmm. said what I was doing here. I really want to get pixie dusted. You guys will get pixie dusted. Wanna do it with me? But I get but I get square? No, I guess swear. <laughs> you just get glitter. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You can see yourself in the mirror. Oh, You're so, so sparkly. Cute. This Yay. is my dream come true. You look very cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I feel I feel very magical right Me too. now. I made a really good wish, and I hope it comes true. Did you make a good wish? Did you make a Did you make a wish related to the scavenger hunt? No. Oh. Did you? No. Goodbye. I have things to do. Since you decided to block me. So I am gonna get a selfie with Miss Minnie Mouse herself because her meet and greet starts at four. So I had hearted it in my Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. And so when you do that, it'll give you a 15 minute notification prior to that event beginning. So that way you can get in line or show up to whatever it is with plenty of time. This is a really fun clue because it lets us experience two staples of a Disney cruise. One of which is free soft serve ice cream. It is unlimited, complimentary, put it in your cruise. And the other is Disney movies on the funnel. But I'm gonna step real quick into the adults only area to sing my favorite song while standing in water. Okay, so I've come up to one of the very top decks. It's actually deck 13. Um, there is a pool called Funnel Puddle up here. It's a very shallow pool, perfect for me to stand in real quick. And it's been relatively uncrowded this whole time, so I won't bother anybody with my singing. Getting in the pool. Oh, it's kinda cold. And out there, strolling by the sand. It's the morning out there, like ordinary men who freely walk about there just one day and then I swear I'll be content with my share 
won't resent, won't despair, old and bent, I don't care, I'll have spent one day out there. So Minnie is right about to meet in the atrium by the staircase. You can see the line has already started to come together for this iconic lady. All right, they just made an announcement they're about to set sail again. Um, I'm gonna go down and get my ice cream real quick, but I just wanted to say goodbye to Puerto Rico. It's so beautiful. I especially love the mountains over there. Uh, we gotta go eat some ice cream. All right, I made it to Ice Cream Treats, which is the location for the ice cream cones on the ship. And I think I'm gonna get chocolate vanilla swirl. Really small cone. Not my best work. <laughs> So if you are watching all of our Disney Cruise Line videos on the Disney Fantasy, Quincy probably mentioned something about the ducks. This is kind of a tradition that guests start and make happen where they will leave these little ducks around the cruise ship for you to find or they'll give them to you and you hide them or keep them. So one of our All Ears friends just came and brought me this really cute jasmine duck. We saw the movie theater earlier and that's a great place to watch Disney movies, but you can also watch Disney movies on the main pool deck on Funnel Vision. Right now they're playing Big Hero 6, which I love. So let's watch Big Hero 6 and eat this ice cream. I don't know that I'm gonna make it to Minnie. This movie rocks. Whew, these stairs, okay. I'm gonna go get my ice cream cone and watch a little bit of the movie on the Funnel Vision. I made it down to the atrium. I'm literally in sight of Minnie Mouse. And sure enough, I just got a text from Cassie that she met Minnie. So she's got to be nearby. Uh, we're gonna have to finish this out now. I just caught word on deck seven, four flights of stairs later, that Quincy already got that square. That would have been nice to have known four decks down. I think, okay, I think that I can, I can definitely be her to Aqua Duck then. So we're gonna go do that. So Cassie is at 12, which means if she gets one more, she automatically has a majority and wins. Um, that means I just have to get really lucky and find a cast member whose name starts with S on my way up to the Aqua Duck, basically, and hope that something is slowing her down somehow. Her names don't start with S. I'm just gonna real quick kind of scope out some of the character attendants. No. I'm like creepily walking by. Peter's says no. I wish I had my glasses on. Cause I don't and I can't see very well. And I need to be looking at name tags that have relatively small print. The other option is if I can ride the aqueduct before her then it would just be whoever commanded S name first, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. I need an S name. But I'm headed to Aqueduct. If I see an S name on the way there, that would be great. We have made it to the Aqueduct. No Quincy in sight, but this is not looking great. No! Oh no! The Aqueduct, the Aqueduct is temporarily closed due to inclement weather. Oh no! And Cassie's here. She's here before me. Oh gosh. The aqua duck is closed. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to talk to the referees. Fry bucket. We talked to Fry and basically she said that because Cassie's 13th square was the aqua duck and if the weather were good, she would have walked on before me. Cassie does win. Go watch our scavenger hunt on the Disney Dream. We'll see you over there. We're not in it.